Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Zero training video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to account for the disposal of an asset on Zero accounting software. So that's an asset that's on the fixed asset register that has been disposed of. It's been sold, given away, thrown away. We go to the top left here, click on the drop down list and go to settings. The first thing you need to know is how to access, manage and use the fixed asset register. If you haven't been doing that, I have a video previous to this one that shows you how to do that. And I'll put a link in the description below. Click on that link and you can learn how to use the fixed asset register. But let's go to the fixed asset register first of all. So we go down to the bottom here and click on advanced settings. And then somewhere on this page, mine shows here, but it might show somewhere else, somewhere else in these lists there's a fixed assets button. Don't get confused with the fixed asset settings, which is over here. So click on fixed assets. We're then taken to the fixed asset register. This was all covered in the previous video, as already mentioned. So if this is all new to you, watch that previous video. How do we dispose of an asset? I have three assets here, a motor vehicle, computer equipment, and office equipment. Let's say this motor vehicle here has been disposed of. Click on the asset number to be taken to the asset account. On this page, we can go to options, click on edit and edit the information here. But if we want to dispose of the asset or account for the disposal, we go to options and go to dispose. We then enter the details of the disposal. Let's say it got disposed today, the 17th of July. The sales proceeds. This is not the amount of profit we received but the actual money we received from the sale. So the revenue, the sale, the sales proceeds account. I'm going to use other revenue. But obviously you can add a chart of account, uh, a new nominal account on the chart of accounts that's specifically for asset disposals. You could put sales from sale of assets or sales um, from asset disposals or disposal asset income, whatever you want. I'm going to use other revenue there. You then select if you want to account for any depreciation up to the sale of the asset. So that will be for this financial year, from the start of this financial year to the sale of the asset. If we put no depreciation, no depreciation will be accounted for. If I click on all depreciation up to including, you then select the date that you want the depreciation to run up to, and then that will account for the depreciation for you. If you click on show summary, that will give you the list of journals that zero is going to post for the sale. So we have our cost, sale proceeds, and the loss on disposal. This is not necessarily the journals. This is going to give you a summary of the cost, sale, and loss or gain from the asset dis disposal. If we click on review journals, you can then see the journals it's going to post. If you have made a loss, if the company has made a loss on the disposal, then you need to select the disposal loss account. You might not have one zero, you might need to add it. It's going to be an expense account. So if I put loss on disposal, I have one here, 5,600. I can then click post and that's posted those journals. It's accounted for the disposal and it's moved my asset which was in here under registered to sold and disposed so the fixed asset register has been updated as well as the loss the sale of the asset has been accounted for in the financial accounts